Hello everyone, Dan here, Sure PT. What we are doing today is we are attending Battle on the Bago, a very large fishing tournament that's located in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, lots of people around, probably give some folks a ride. We'll see what happens with all that. A little bit of action here. Kind of hard to see, but we're going up and down a little bit. There's something you probably don't see every day. One of the things that happens out here on Lake Winnebago is there gets to be very large cracks. And what they do is for those cracks to get over so people don't break through, is they have bridges. So I don't remember which club this is out here. I'll try to tell you a little bit later in the video, but these guys come out here, volunteer their time. As you can see, they have trucks that are out here that are specifically designed to plow all of the roads out here on the lake. Right now, they're out there and they're putting on um, a new ridge. So that's kind of nifty. So we didn't choose to use the ridge. We just drove through and as you can see, it popped down a little bit. I think the shirt's okay, it won't, be, it won't feel sad, it's all fine. And there's some folks going over that bridge. Hard to see, I get it, I get it. But the ice does not appear to be that thick here. Not for vehicles anyway. <laughs> right over there by those trains, tracks there, there's this bridge and that ice is very, very shallow because um, there's a river that runs through there. We all feel bad for that fella. Hello, baby.
So as you're going inside of that water like that, the water, depending on how fast you're going up, actually comes up almost all the way up to the windshield, which is crazy because there's just a small little gasket that's on the front of the door that's keeping all that water out. Does water ever come on the inside of the shirt if you go quickly? Yeah, it does. I've had water more than probably three quarters up the windshield and some will come in, but it's like just a couple of cup or two of water, that's it. So it's really not that big. I was trying to back up onto the ice and get out, but this ice was just too darn thin and I just couldn't get the, the tires up on top of it. That is kind of a weird feeling as you're looking down because the water is up almost to the windshield when you get those back tires up and get it up there. Temperature outside was probably around 10 degrees. Um, and the water, when it would get up on top of the ice, made it unbelievably slippery. And you've probably seen that from the video. There was snow at one time on the lake, but it got warm. Everything melted and it became very, very slick. Lots and lots of people falling down. You'll probably see some pictures of that in the next video. Oh, I didn't mean to let it all out. But we finally do get that shirt ball lined up pretty good here and just start busting through that ice and just finally those front tires come up and it's one hell of a feeling in there when you're on the inside of the shirt because you're at quite an angle and then just all of a sudden you feel those back tires catch and bloop, you are out of the water. Sorry for the quality of the video here. It was an extremely sunny day. And try to make sure that you do the lighting correctly while flying the drone find the drone to challenge enough as it is get the lighting rights the second part that's pretty challenging but I still thought it showed some good shots so I hope you enjoy it
So when exiting from the water back onto the ice, you have to be perfectly perpendicular, otherwise one side grips more than the other and you end up in a situation like that. One side's up on the ice, the other side is in the water. The only thing that's really good for is breaking up more ice so you can get lined up a little bit better. Um, the next video is going to show a couple of groups of people that we went out with. I think they had a lot of fun. One of the groups did go into this water here, but we had some challenges getting out. More to come on that. But just an overall wonderful day. Uh, here you're going to be able to see a little bitty spinny I did on it or a little donut. That's kind of fun on the shirt. It's really excellent when you have all four wheels running and you're still spinning in a circle. Well, you've probably heard about that before. Well, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. Those are some folks from the next video. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.